Oh, wow. Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. The truck almost didn't want to start today. We're heading to Chuck's, finish up that trailer. Give a nice little top coat. Maybe we'll head to Uncle Tony's to grab some heads. And I got some parts. We're getting pretty close to being back on scoots. Look at that. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning to you. Okay, we got that trailer all painted and painted nice and clean like. Feel kind of loop de doo about it, you know. And uh, now it's time to go over some parts. So we got the remainder of our parts for the engine build. We had to get this 58X cover and it already came with the, for twin turbos ports on it. I'm just gonna cap one off. These came welded on, convenient. Valley cover gasket rear main gasket rear main seal timing cover gasket an extension because we're moving the camshaft sensor up front got our four pole cam gear timing cover bolts got a nice little steam port kit because you know Y'all seen me on my engine, it didn't have a nice steam port kit. So we're gonna have a nice steam port kit that goes to all four corners up top now. We got a $50 PQY head studs. What else we got in here? What is this? Cam sensor. Probably gonna go through like three of them until we find one that works good. Cause uh, you know made in china crank bolt and i didn't exactly skimp out got ict billet probably still made in china it's a random stud 10 a.m caps because i got a cap off one of them besides that cover and the rest of the head stud hardware now the only thing left to do now that it's starting to rain. Is it raining? It's starting to, yeah. We're gonna go to Uncle Tony's U pull it, find us a set of heads so we can swap all our new stuff over and have a fresh start. 
So we'll have brand new rotating assembly, brand new heads. The only thing that'll be the same is the block. All right, I'm gonna put all the stuff back. Man, this thing is nice. I think they cast it and then machined it. Amazon special. Let's go see what Chuck's got going on. I think he's getting all the tools together. Covering up the front of the trailer because it started raining. I still can't believe how nice that paint came out. Oh, look at that. Nice. Old junkyard bucket. The pickle bucket. See that? Dill Pickles. Call that our junkyard pickle bucket. Final, final piece. You got snips in there? Yes. Regular snips? Yes. Sick. Got bolt cutters too. I don't think we need the bolt cutters. You say that until there's an engine harness in the way and the bolt cutters will get it right out of the way. Okay. All right. Guess we'll hit the road. Make it a little lighter for me. Thank you. Mind the mess. Ooh, what smells so good in here? Is it starting to smell like taint and I had to get rid of that sink. Old taint gooch scent? Oh yeah. Woo! Just like that. Not even a half a mile down the road. Sun is shining. A little bit of rainfall, but it's gonna be nice and swampy. It's there. gonna be nice and steamy up in there. You get all that hot metal baking all day, then you hit it with the water, it steams up, gives you a nice little atmosphere, of hepatitis and everything else. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Out of here, rain. Oh boy. Oh get, get now. Y'all gonna have to yell at Charles. He just had to come and see the motor scooter section. What is that? This? That's a Honda. Dang. Dang on. Alright. Oh, is that an old gold wing there? That looks like a gold wing, dude. Oh, wow. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I knew it was gonna happen. Dang, if you were. Holy shit, what kind of motor is that? God dang it. I gotta see this motor, dude. What is that? It's Yeah, but that is big. You just spilled all the tools on the ground and left them there. Yeah, I know. Look at that unit. Huh. Still, this is a chopper. Sound like horses? Man, you gotta be drive like that. A zebra bike? A bad man pajamba, apparently. Alright, we got this 2500. It's the only thing we found so far that had decent looking 706 heads. Everything else was 862. So, this one we're gonna bust down. Oh, my bad, this is not a 2500. So, 1500. But either way, we're gonna bust it down and get to it. it. Looks very unmolested. Yeah, change of plans. Chuck found a nicer looking set. Now they're greasier, but that's what I want because it means nobody's been there. So it's just a little change. In, oh my god, changing plans. That would have been easier to just pull the motor and trans, I swear. Alright, we got our disgusting 706 heads. Ugh. Careful, careful, that's what got me. Bit me real good. Oh. Oh. Alright, Dan. Let's clean up, haul out, get something to drink. Alright, boys. Whew, I can't lie, I am beat. I am beat. 
B-E-A-T. Oh, these are gonna need some cleaning for sure. Oh, my hands is all greasy again. Open oh, up. Bust a hole in my modello. Long day. Long weekend. Did you eyeball my chicken salad sandwich? <laughs> you got a sandwich in there, dude. You eyeball my 7-Eleven chicken salad sandwich? I don't think I am, dude. I think that's all you. Good. More for me. <laughs> I think I'd rather pull that engine then. Damn head. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. Alright, y'all. It's Modelo time. Hmm. Trailer's done. Well, painted. Still needs wire for it and stuff. The meds we got is filthy, but they'll clean up nice. And they'll be a good combo. And we'll have a fresh start on them so we know nothing's bent. They're filthy, but they is gonna work. All right, y'all. Have a great weekend. Party on, Garth. All right, guys, let's do a little price breakdown. This is what it would cost you to just do a simple rebuild on an LS engine. You're gonna need a new crank bolt, belly cover gasket, rear main cover and seal kit, some rod bearings, some main bearings, some head gaskets, these BTR small bore head gaskets are pretty much what everybody's been running nowadays and a lot of good results with them. You can go cheaper if you want, but I would recommend just sticking with these. Oil pan gasket, a Wix oil filter, some oil, and then the subtotal comes out after tax to around 550 bucks, just about. Now, let's do a little breakdown on what I spent, because I had to get a lot more than that because I had damaged quite a few things. So I didn't need it, but I got that coolant crossover thing. It's probably gonna be a good thing. I got new 750 lift springs, crank bolt. I needed that four pole cam gear cause I'm going to a 58X reluctor. Camshaft position sensor, 10 AN female cap so I can cap off one side of that timing cover, a uh, valley cover gasket, that camshaft extension, that timing cover with the 10 AN returns because my timing cover did not have the spot for the camshaft position sensor. Went ahead and I'm gonna try out these PQY head studs, a rear main cover seal kit, 16 Morel 7717 lifters, king rod bearings, Levi main bearings, BTR small bore head gaskets, a set of junkyard heads, which y'all just saw. That price is actually incorrect. We actually paid $1 so $45 less than it's actually. Oil pan gasket, a used Gen 4 rotating assembly. We only paid 130 bucks for that. A Wix oil filter, oil, eh, about $50 in shipping. So that came out to 1766 plus tax on a lot of this stuff. So it came out to about, with that extra $40, a little over $1,900. That is why it has been taking so long. <laughs> but we now have everything we need, minus the head gaskets. I still need to order the head gaskets. So we will be back on scoots very soon. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.